Hey YouTube, Shook and Shinobi here with a review of the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Forze Module Set 3 from Kamen Rider Forze, obviously. So a little tiny green box because the modules in the set were really small. Uh, thus we get five modules instead of like four or anything like that. Typical fly that shows up in the Shuki reviews because there's always a fly in this room that won't go away. So he might make a cameo, but... We got the um, wench, or the winch, not the wench. Wench would be a very awkward module. Um, shield, Gatling, Stealth, and Chain Array, which might as well be called Mace. Not the actual Mace, but the different kind of Mace. But So we got base states, because that's the one I'm using. Um, Keep in mind that you can use any Forze figure with these modules. It doesn't have to be base dates, but why not use base dates while we can? So, uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and jump right in. Uh, the switches are all here. Didn't bother popping them out. You got on and off for wench. Winch. Not wench. Damn it. Uh, on and off for shield. On and off for stealth. Then you have Chain Array and Gatling are just um, multi-purpose switches. So those just uh, pull little tabbies off of them and pop them right into the belt. But I'm not going to bother doing that in my poses because that just takes up time and it's kind of pointless anyway. So uh, let's go ahead and just start with the easy to review ones. Uh, the shield module which goes right here. So to switch that off. Go ahead and just pop off that arm, <clears throat> take off the hand, set that aside, put the hand on there, plug that bin, bin, in, in, somewhere, something like that. This is very loose. Why is this loose? This hand is loose. I'm not sure why. And now you have the stealth module, which is actually kind of neat. Um, I like the, uh, it's not stealth module, the shield module. I just, It's late, I'm tired. Uh, the shield module, which I think is kind of neat, shaped like a space shuttle cockpit nose area. So that's pretty neat uh, that the shield kind of carries the space motif with it, without it turning into like just some sort of generic like night shield. So, that's really neat. I do like the way it looks. It's got nice panel detailing on there and everything. Uh, doesn't get in the way. This is one of my favorite modules, actually. It's just, it's simple, to the point, doesn't get in the way, and it makes sense. So, uh, next up, we will go ahead and do Chain Array, because it's on this arm. And this arm is almost off. Bam, there we go. So, the Chain Array is actually on a chain. It, I think it's, maybe it is metal, I can't tell, really, but, uh, you can swing it around and stuff. I can hit the fly with it. That was fun. So, yeah, it's all movable and stuff. This set does come with two additional hands. Um, both of them are the same hand, they're kind of just a generic rider weapon holding hand. So the um, right hand is made for the chain array, and that one does come off just like the hopping module did in the last set, so you can put the hand on easier. Why does this need a new hand? Because they wanted to have a grippy hand that can grip the chain array accordingly, just like so. So grip that, swing it around, plug it back in place, and you have the chain array set up. Not sure why they just didn't mold it in, considering there really is no other pose for this. He's always going to be handling it like that. So I don't see why they just didn't mold it in like that instead of including a hand, but uh, you get an additional hand for Forza, so that's always fun. Now the hard part of plugging this back in and of course as I say now the hard part it's gonna be relatively easy and then part of the belt falls off but uh, you have chain array and it's actually really really cool uh, 
if you switch out to the other weapon holding hand, it can grip the chain. In fact, most of the hands that are of the relaxed or holding variety uh, can hold the chain. So that's pretty neat. So you can do that. Let's go ahead and plug that back in. Really cool. I dig it. Uh, so next up, let's go ahead and do stealth. Stealth goes down here. We'll move that. Let's go ahead and leave it on. So, as usual with the leg ones, pull it, pull it, set it aside, and you have stealth. Uh, probably one of the most detailed uh, modules, just because it actually has two colors on it. Uh, that's always a plus. So, this one turns uh, Forza invisible for like five seconds or something. Just enough to make it useful and not completely pointless. So, wedge that in there. Wedge. He didn't have a wedge switch. Uh, close enough, I guess. I can't really get any further in there. And plug that in. See if he stands, and he does. So now you have stealth. Obviously, there's no effect part or anything. It doesn't actually make him disappear. Um, I can activate the stealth module. Uh, stealth on. Oh my god, that's so good. So awesome. It's so so good days right here. So uh, that is, that's it for the stealth module. So uh, let's go ahead and move on to Gatling, which is the triangle leg. Um, it doesn't spin. It doesn't do anything of the like. Just a hunk of plastic. So as normal, wiggle, wiggle. Plug and plug. So there you go, Gatling. Pretty neat. Um, the other hand that it comes with right here is supposed to be a Gatling hand because it can grip down right here, just like that, and it's to for when he kind of kneels a bit, and it's used as a, br a bracer for the Gatling gun. So, that's what it says in the instructions, anyway. I mean, obviously, this is just a typical weapon-holding hand. It can be used for the chain array. It can be used for the upcoming winch. It can be used for anything, really, but that's what it says it's for in the instructions. He fired the Gatling gun off a lot of times without needing to put his hand on it, so... That's not particularly... Too bad of a deal. So here is the winch winch module. Uh, this is a counter for how many times I say winch instead of winch. Um, there's the fly again. So this is square so it's going to take the place of shield sadly but uh, shield will forever be in our hearts. And just go ahead and pop that in the legs, I find, are actually a lot easier to do than the arms. The arms always feel like just aren't in good enough. So, there is the wench module. Let's go ahead and give him a hand. Ha, puns. So there we go. Chain array is getting all tangled up. And you have the winch module. So you got the uh, wound-up coil right there. Hook. It uh, swivels a little bit, so you can flip it around if you would like. Uh, some actually nice black wash in there. I'm actually slightly impressed given how many of these just come out as big pieces of plastic. But this does have an action feature of sorts. You can pull this out, and the fly just fell over. That's fun. Uh, pull that out, and replace it with this one. Ha, I said this one. And you have a pliable winch grippy thing hook. There we go. So you have that. And uh, that is all the modules in the set. And all the accessories and everything of the like. Uh, actually pretty neat. So I'm just going to go ahead and set him up back here. And 
I don't know, can he hold on to the shield somehow? Probably not, that's too much to ask. We'll just set up the, set up the shield right there. And let's scoot this over. So very cool. Um, probably my favorite of the module sets so far because it's simple. I liked the modules in set two, but uh, the parachute was kind of really wonky to work with. I did love the chainsaw because, oh my god, chainsaws. But um, this set really does take the cake for me. Uh, the winch is kind of cool. You get the wire so you can pose that out like that. The chain array is pretty neat actually being a chain and not uh, plastic. Gatling's cool because who doesn't love machine guns? Stealth is really pointless in a, a figure arts form. It just doesn't do anything good. And I do like shield because it is a highly detailed module. There's the fly. And uh, just an all-around pretty neat uh, weapon and one of the ones that I actually like the most, even though it's not really a weapon. Plus, it's on the front of the package. I mean, that's got to count for something, right? So, very cool. Um, again, not worth the price of retail. Um, however, both AmiAmi and HLJ has run sales on this. I think AmiAmi is down to 750 yen or something for set 3, maybe. And it's a fairly new release. It released in, I think, July. So, uh, it's already super cheap. Um, I do recommend picking this one up. I actually safely do recommend picking this one up. It makes a nice complement to base states or any of the other Forze figures. And uh, I really do like the way they look. They're fun, they're simple, um, and there just isn't an overly gimmicky thing like Parachute from the last set. So we have one more set to go at retail, and then a remainder set sort of thing as an exclusive. So we'll take a look at those eventually, and uh, wrap up Forza pretty soon. So you can check out shukunshinobi.com for latest updates and my reviews and hauls. And of course, check out ridersrangersandrebels.com, the podcast bringing the latest token news in the craziest way possible, just like this fly. Look at how crazy he is. Crazy! So take care and have a great one. Bye. <laughs>